Good morning and welcome back to my channel and morning devotions. My name is Maggie. If this is your first time stopping by, I hope you decide to like and subscribe and click that notification bell and I feel a hiccup coming on always. I don't know why it's nervous in front of the camera. They start happening. It is Sunday, September the 25th, and it is also the beginning of Rosh Hashanah, which is the Jewish New Year. It's always a good time to celebrate the harvest and all the good things that God has done. Um, our de devotions are coming from Joanna Weaver's book called At the Feet of Jesus. And our opening scripture comes from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 7. Love always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. I once heard a story about a missionary who was teaching a group of women, 1 Corinthians 13, the love chapter. How love is patient and kind and keeps no record of wrongs, and that's in verse 5. She wasn't sure her students really understood what she was trying to say until one of the women knocked on her door and handed her a large notebook. With tears in her eyes, the woman explained that for years she had meticulously recorded every instant, instance her husband had failed her or let her down. Every sin committed against her had gone into that book. Thumbing through the pages, the missionary saw it was almost completely full of scribbled accusations. No more record of wrongs, the woman said in broken English as she pressed the book into the missionary's arms and turned to go. No more record of wrongs. It seems unlikely that any of us have kept an actual written record of our hurts and disappointments. But then, most women, I know, don't need to. We're perfectly capable of keeping it all on our mental hard drives. Are we not? Let's be honest. Let our husbands fail to tell us they'll be late for dinner, and by the time they finally walk in the door, we have a six-page warrant for their arrest, complete with a detailed listing of prior offenses and parole violations, no matter how distant and unrelated they might be. Isn't it just like the devil? To stir up everything that has annoyed you or frustrated you or hurt you over the years. Guilty. Love keeps no record of wrongs. Paul's words sound so sound just as revolutionary to our modern ears as they must have sounded to those village women. But if we want to be like Jesus, we must forgive. We must give to the Lord our right to be treated fairly. And more than that, we must surrender our mental and written records of the times when we weren't. We've all done it. Let's be honest. We've all done it because the accuser of the brethren is going to make sure you never forget. All right. That's feeling hurt and disappointment, especially when betrayal is involved. There's an emotional connection to that. When you have an emotional connection to something, it's very unlikely you'll forget it. And you better believe the devil will know how to push that button to ruffle those feathers, to make sure that all those emotions, I mean, think about it. Think about when you are remembering or telling the story of a wrong, suddenly every emotion you felt when it originally happened is right back as if it just happened again. Am I right? That is what the enemy loves to do. It's a big fat stumbling block, right? Like a speed bump, only bigger. Right in the middle of the road to trip us up in our walk with Christ. And it is so difficult to trust me, I know. That's what makes forgiveness such an act of grace and such a miracle. To forgive somebody truly is a miracle. I don't know how God forgives and then throws that into the sea of forgetfulness to never remember it again. I wish I had that ability, to be honest with you. Okay, Proverbs chapter 12, verse 16. Let's read that. And... We're reflecting, rather than keeping a record of the times we, we're wronged, what are we to do instead? So Proverbs 12, verse 16 says, A fool is quick-tempered, but a wise person stays calm when insulted. All right. I want to be wise. I don't want to be a fool. 
fool, a fool is quick tempered, but a wise person stays calm when insulted. And these days, all you have to do is just have a different attitude, a different viewpoint on somebody and they are, they are sprung and they are attacking. <clears throat> just a different stance on something and they are attacking. Our second scripture they gave us two today is 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 8. Where's Peter? There they are. Chapter 4, verse 8. Most important of all, continue to show deep love for each other, for love covers a multitude of sins. Show deep love for one another, for love covers a multitude of sins. And if I'm not mistaken, I've read that on this channel before in previous devotions. So we are to, most importantly, show deep love for one another, for love covers a multitude of sin. And let me say, because I know I've said this before, but I'll say it again. <clears throat> Who a person is in their worst moment they're insulting you, they're betraying you, whatever it is, who they are. You're just having an utter meltdown because you just can't deal with the stress or pressure or disappointments anymore. And you just kind of lose it. We've all had those moments. We lose it. Yelling, screaming. You're not the usual calm self. Whatever, whatever's behind all that, you just have a moment in the flesh and then bam, you've said things you shouldn't have said. You've said them at a volume you don't normally say them as. Filled with all kinds of emotion. Who you are in that moment is not who you are all the time. If you want people to release grace to you in those moments when you're not yourself, make sure you're releasing grace to them as well. The word tells us the golden rule, you do unto others as you would have them to do unto you. So show great love for one another. For love covers a multitude of sin. I'm sure most of us, if not all of us, if we hear from somebody that a word or an action that we did was hurtful to them, that we're horrified. I can't think of any decent human being, any normal decent human being who would be callous enough to not care that someone was hurt by a word or an action that they did. Most of the time, the hurts come um, by circumstance, not because you deliberately schemed and plotted to hurt someone. Am I right? It's the wounds in them interpreted your words or your actions in a certain way that caused even further hurt, which is the devil. That's what he does. Steal, kill, destroy. That's what he wants to do. And he uses our past and those things within us to just create those hurts and perpetrate them over and over again so that we have fractured relationships so we don't have the unity and love of Christian brotherhood. <laughs> I mean, it's all part of his plan, divide and conquer. He doesn't want you having the strength of solid friendships around you to lift you up when you're down. That's all part of what he does. So if there's relational brokenness or things in your life going on, just start putting into practice. Don't wait for everyone else to change. You start doing what God said to do in his word. Let love deeply Love covers a multitude of sin. A fool is quick-tempered, but a wise man is calm when insulted. Just start doing what God's word says. Don't wait for everyone else to do it. You be the first and see what kind of an impact just your choice makes on the other people around you. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your word and the wisdom contained in it to help us, Father God, have a peaceful life filled with stability, filled with you, O oh God, that we could be a light to others. For those, Lord, that may be struggling with this, that may be struggling, Father God, with expressing love, not keeping a record of wrongs. Father, they may be caught in a trap or a vicious cycle and not, not feel that there's any way to get free. Show them, Father. Show them, Lord. I give you praise, O oh God, for your word. Help us to hide it in our hearts. Help us to hide it, oh God, that it would become part of who we are, that we would be a better and a bigger reflection of you to others. 
in Jesus name. And Lord, we thank you for the grace that you give us every single day for the mistakes that we make. When we do lose it, when we do forget to be wise, but act like a fool and, and are quick tempered, Lord, when we're hurt or injured, thank you for the grace you give to us. We give you glory, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, God bless you. Thank you so much for spending a little time with me. If this is your first time and you're blessed by these devotions, please, cons please consider liking and subscribing and clicking that notification bell. Come back and check out some of the other content I have on my channel. I do fun Dollar Tree shop with me's. I do some DIYs. I do some other things. I also have linked below another channel I have called Storytime with Gigi. I have over 500 books in my online library for children. Uh, I firmly believe children need to have wholesome content that encourages them to read and develop a love for reading. So check out that channel as well. Thank you again. I hope you have a wonderful Sunday. God bless and bye until next time.